Ladies and gentlemen, I am back with a game that just came out of the blue. It hyped me up. I saw it at like 3 a.m. in the morning. I was tired, but then I quickly woke up when I saw this trailer. And, and I don't want to get into it too much before I show you the trailer, so just go ahead and take a look. It's Goosebumps meets DBD meets Last Year the Nightmare meets pretty much its own thing after that. It, it's just, it's a little bit realistic. It's a little bit cartoony. There's werewolves. We've been asking for a werewolf from the DBD devs for a long time or any of these other games that have been coming out and just... You can see the aesthetic going on here. They've left it open. They haven't closed any doors for themselves. They have the entire 80s horror, 90s horror genre at their t at the table. Um, Sci-fi, horror, they've left the door so open by just titling this VHS and basing it off of classic horror. You can see in the trailer that there's just, you know, the ideas are endless for this. This is why this is so exciting. The presentation is there. I love the little details such as the writing and the, the, the so, so much attention to detail the same way last year the Nightmare had. And it just has that, that same aesthetic that, that last year had. But I think that this team is approaching it in the right way just by looking at it. I really hope the gameplay loop, I can't comment on the gameplay loop because I haven't tried it myself, but this looks really delicious by incorporating 80s horror and the way that they've titled the game and just the way you saw you know the classic pinball machines the arcades the old vhs tapes you know set up like a blockbuster video this is endless ideas here this is cosmetics based off of horror maps that can be based off of classic horror characters and killers that can be based off of classic horror the only thing that's going to tie everything together is the gameplay loop hopefully it's going to be solid everybody can get together and try this out and give the devs feedback and they can mold this into what looks like to me a very special experience uh getting right down to the information for you guys um vhs is a 4v1 asymmetric action tribute to the 80s horror era where small town teens face off against terrifying monsters brought to life from the aisles of their local video store. VHS will be released on our own launcher as well as on Steam and Epic in the future. Stay tuned for updates. VHS is going to be free. As new maps are released, they'll be made available to everyone free of charge. You'll be able to purchase new playable characters via currency earned in-game or through premium currency. How do they plan to monetize the game? We will have a cosmetic store. There are not nor will ever be anything that grants players a definitive gameplay advantage for sale in our store. Will VHS be on consoles? Initially, VHS will only be on PC. However, consoles are something that we'd like to have support down the road so we'll see 
Can I suggest new Monsters Teens maps? We'll have a substantial amount of content in the works, including new monsters, teens, and maps. While we welcome suggestions, we cannot promise that any make it into VHS. I think there'll be three killers at launch. The first one is Wart. Wart is weaponized amphibious replicant technology. He's a chimera. Uh, from the secret depths of Replicor facility, unleash the experimental Wart. Wreck havoc on humanity with this chimera's violent leap track prey with a super echo and withstand attack in acid armor evolution is unstoppable the second one is the doll master from within the walls of an abandoned hotel summon the craftiest of creatures the doll master haunts his victims with a deadly lullaby before whittling their petrified bones into his precious children set traps possess dolls for wicked deeds and disappear into the darkness the third is the werewolf. Unleash the werewolf and strike fear into the heart of your enemy with this mythical and manical creature. Terrorize high school hallways with a relentless hunt, berserk speed, and a devastating howl. Ferocious and feral, no full moon is needed to feel this ancient wrath. And right there, you guys, is where I'm going to stop it. They do have a beta. Go sign up for it on their website. I did post the links down below in the description area. This looks really good. There's a lot more to see and talk about. Join their Discord, take a look at their Twitter. These devs are very transparent. They're releasing info and little tidbits of Easter eggs and little, little surprises here and there, both on their Discord and on their Twitter. So get in there, keep track. This one looks good. I have a good feeling about it. I mean, yeah, I've had good feelings about other asymmetricals, but this one, I mean, you can take a look at it. It looks like they've put in a lot of work in on this. I hope that the gameplay loop is strong enough, because if it is, it can keep people in, the game will grow, special things could happen. You guys have a good one, I'm going to jump out of here, I will continue to keep covering this and the Evil Dead. Halloween's coming up, I hope everybody's getting ready. Thank you guys for watching, take care, we'll be back for more when more info is released. Have a good one, a bye bye.